Hello there, everyone. My name is Andrew Frazier, and I serve as the registrar here at Johnson University. So I do hope that this uh, brief video is very helpful for you as we discuss a few things related to credits, credentials, courses, a few other specific academic matters that you may or may not have questions about. Um, I do hope this is helpful uh, in answering those questions. Um, as you can see, my department does have representatives on both campuses, and there is our contact information there. So you can always feel free to reach out to us if you do have uh, in-depth questions. And basically, my, my office handles everything at Johnson related to um, class registration, degree progress tracking and selection, enrollment verification, we handle all of the grading and GPA calculations. Uh, we do the graduation ceremony and, and the diploma printing and a variety of other academic related services that you can see there on your screen. Essentially, once a student moves through the admissions and application process, they then move to my office for class enrollment. And we basically walk alongside students for the remainder of the time that they're here until they get that diploma as they walk across stage at graduation. So again, I do hope that this, this presentation will be helpful as we talk about a few things related to dual enrollment, AP credits, and other transfer credits that you might have uh, prior to enrolling at Johnson, as well as some basic information about what a typical semester might look like at Johnson and your class schedule, as well as the general academic expectations that we do have here as well as um, some resources to help you succeed and some other information that, that you might be interested about uh, relating to academic services here at Johnson. So the, the very first thing that I do want to talk about today is related to dual enrollment, AP credits, and any other prior college transfer credits that you might already have or that you might be interested in pursuing before you are ready to enroll in college. Johnson is a very transfer friendly institution. And what that means is that we will do everything that we can to transfer in all of the college credits that you've earned prior to enrolling at Johnson and applying those to your, your degree. We'll try and transfer in as much as we possibly can. And there are, are a variety of ways that you can earn prior college credits. And I'll, I'll note a couple here that we'll talk about and then I'll briefly mention a few more that you can read about in our academic catalog as well. So the first one is dual enrollment, which actually involves you enrolling for credits through your high school in partnership with a local college or university. Now, sometimes you might actually take those classes at your high school. You might physically do that in one of the classrooms at your high school. Sometimes you might actually visit the, the college or university to go to class, or it might be entirely online. All three are options, and either way, typically what happens is after you've completed the coursework, you will earn college credit that will be applied to an official academic transcript that will be provided by the partner college or university that, that your high school partners with. Now, dual enrollment is a great opportunity to go ahead and get a jump start on your college career. These credits can often be free or they can be a very affordable. And your state might even do dual enrollment grants, which would help cover either partially or the entire cost of dual enrollment credits. That is true of the state of Tennessee. So if you have questions about the Tennessee state dual enrollment grant, please feel free to reach out to, to my office. It is important to know that to transfer in a dual enrollment course, you must earn a grade of C or higher in that course, uh, or else it would not be able to transfer in. And that's true of most colleges and universities, that they have that pretty standard policy. There are a couple notes about dual enrollment courses that I'll mention. And one of the most important ones is that we generally recommend that students stick to basic general education courses, uh, subjects such as English, math, history, science, things like that. Uh, the reason for that is these are much easier to transfer. And, and there's two big reasons that we, that we caution students to avoid taking too many professional major courses. The first is that 
the majority of college students, actually over half, actually will change their major at some point in college. So we don't want you to take too many major specific classes as dual enrollment. If you're going to end up changing your major at some point when, once you actually enroll at Johnson. And the second reason is that we've got excellent professors here at Johnson who are passionate about their teaching area of expertise, and they also have earned doctorates and they are experts in those areas. So we want you to take those major specific classes here at Johnson with those professors um, because, because again, they're very passionate about their subject matter. So stick to the, the basic general education subjects. Uh, AP credits are also very similar and they're a great option too for earning college credits. In the same way, uh, students must earn a score of three or higher on the AP exam, on each AP exam, in order for that credit to transfer into Johnson. Now remember, with both AP and dual enrollment credits, you must send your official AP score report or your official college transcript directly to Johnson in order to have your credits applied. And as you'll see on the slide there, there are a few other opportunities for credits. You might just be a transfer student in which we would, we would transfer your prior college credits in that regard. There is also things called CLEP exams, where if you pass an exam, you, you go ahead and earn college credit for that. Foreign language achievement testing exams, if you feel uh, confident in a specific foreign language. We accept international baccalaureate, uh, Dante's exams, and a variety of other opportunities. That information can all be found in our academic catalog on our website. You can find a complete transfer guide there in the back of the catalog for that. Okay, so shifting gears a little bit here, I'll briefly talk a little bit about what it looks like once you actually earn, uh, well, excuse me, once you actually enroll in college courses here at Johnson, maybe what a typical semester might look like. Now for your first semester at Johnson, my office will typically go ahead and create your first semester schedule for you. And we do that because we go ahead and factor in any of those prior college credits that I mentioned earlier so that you don't end up taking courses that you already have credits for. And it's also just for us to go ahead and get you a schedule that will get you started on track with your degree. That's, that's the reason we go ahead and create that first semester schedule for you. And if you have any questions or any input that you'd like to put into that, especially if you want to have a, a work schedule, uh, do work study on campus or off campus, and you need to tweak the schedule that we provide you, we can certainly do that. Just let us know. So a normal class schedule at Johnson typically involves 15.5 credit hours. And most classes, uh, not all, but most classes are three individual credit hours. So that involves taking five three credit hour courses. And you also get a half a credit for doing chapel here at Johnson. Now most students um, will take that 15.5 credit hour load, but you can also do a reduced load or you can do an, an overload as well. You must do at least 12 point credit hours to be considered full time, both academically and for financial aid purposes. Um, you can take up to 18.5 credit hours without any issues. If you want to do more than 18.5 credit hours, you do have to request permission. Uh, we just want to make sure that you are prepared to take on that heavy of an academic overload. Now, most students will take each of their courses on two day blocks. So for instance, one course would meet on Tuesdays and Thursdays, or another course would meet on Wednesdays and Fridays. We do also have some classes that meet just one day a week on Mondays. Those are all usually optional though. So typically a student's semester schedule will end up running Tuesday through Friday which will end up giving you, uh, for the most part, a three-day weekend each, each semester. And that's very beneficial for students to have a dedicated uh, study day on Mondays, or if they travel home for the weekends, it gives them an extra day of travel. And again, there, there might be semesters where you do choose to take a Monday class, so that may not always be the case. But that will be the standard course load that you'll experience when you're here at Johnson. 
And now a typical semester will, will include a variety of coursework from the three main components of our curriculum here at Johnson. So typically you'll take coursework in the arts and sciences, which is what we call our general education courses. You'll also take Bible and theology coursework. And then your, the third component is your professional major coursework. You'll usually do a blending of those three each semester. Now, after that first semester uh, that we create your first schedule for you, you will start to make your own schedule. You will choose the days and the times and the professors, and you will be assigned an academic advisor who is a part of your professional major who will help you along the way in choosing those classes. Now, you can choose courses that are as early as 7.35 a.m., or as late in the afternoon as 4 p.m., and we do even have some night classes as well. Again, those are usually optional, and those begin at 6 p.m. So learn about yourself. Are you a morning person or are you an afternoon person? Would you prefer to study in the morning or in the afternoon? Go to class in the morning, go to class in the afternoon. Learn about yourself and pick the days and times that work best for you, and your advisors will help you with that. We do also have online classes available as well. Now, many online classes do require that you request permission to get enrolled in those from the dean who oversees that course, but it's a great opportunity to supplement and to balance your education a little bit. Um, they are intensive. Our online courses do meet usually in the seven-week intensive format, so it might run the first seven weeks of the semester and then be finished. So that would give you a lighter second half of your semester, or it might run the second half of the semester and it, it might add to your course load there in the second half. But still, it's a great opportunity to balance your class schedule. So if you have questions about online, just let us know. Now for academic expectations, just like many other colleges and universities, we do have um, a minimum expectation that students maintain a 2.0 GPA or better to stay in good standing at Johnson. And it's important to remember that that is also true for maintaining your federal financial aid and your institutional financial aid as well. That's an average of C or better in each of your courses. And now in your major classes, so specifically the major you choose, you need to maintain a 2.5 or higher. And that's very important as well. And we want you to be more proficient in, in the major that you choose. And if you ever need assistance with your coursework, we have an academic support center a counseling center, your advisors, your dorm RAs, and many more resources on campus to help you succeed. And of course, my office is also here to help you succeed as well. We want you to remember that, that your college education is a journey. It is an important and it's an informative time of your life. And it's important to put your best foot forward and to try your best to work hard towards getting good grades and achieving your degree, but to know and remember that you're not walking this journey alone. This campus is most certainly an uncommon community, a phrase that I'm sure that you'll hear a lot during this preview day, that is full of professors. Of, it's full of mentors, tutors, counselors, resident directors and resident assistants on your dorm hallways, friends and others, many others who live and work on Johnson's campus to serve you. Our mission statement begins with the three words that Johnson educates students. And that is what we are all focused on. And we are focused on fulfilling that mission and helping you every step of the way to succeed. Your academics uh, or anything like that, reach out to any of these individuals and we'd be happy to help you. My, my department's contact information is there for you on the screen. So if you have any questions about this presentation, or anything that I might not have covered, uh, please feel free to reach out. Or if you have specific questions about your situation, and if you'd like a, maybe a transfer credit evaluation and like to go ahead and find out what could transfer, uh, please feel free to reach out depending on your campus, both Tennessee and Florida are there on your screen. So thank you for listening to this presentation, and we do look forward to serving you uh, here now and in the future. So thanks for listening and take care.